Hello friends, today we are guiding you to prepare interview questions on API development, API documentation and API testing. In comments you can share the topic of your interest, our team will prepare the video for you. Before continue to our session, we request you to join our channel for all the latest updates. Our team of technical and subject matter experts are working hard to create valuable content just for you. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button, like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. How do you monitor API performance and detect bottlenecks? Monitoring API performance is essential for ensuring efficiency, reliability, and scalability. Effective monitoring helps detect slow response times, high error rates, and traffic spikes that may indicate bottlenecks. We can monitor API performance as follows. Logging and metrics collection, use tools like ELK Stack, Elasticsearch, Logstash, Kibana, Splunk, or Fluent to capture API logs and analyze performance trends. Response time, measures how long an API takes to respond. Throughput, number of requests handled per second. Error rate, percentage of failed API calls, for example, 4xx. 5xx errors. Latency, time taken for a request to reach the server and return a response. Application Performance Monitoring, APM, Tools, New Relic, Data Dog, Prometheus, and Grafana provide real time monitoring and alerting. Load testing, use JMeter, Gatling, or K6 to simulate heavy traffic and identify slow endpoints. Database and Infrastructure Monitoring. Optimize slow queries and scale servers using AWS CloudWatch, Grafana, or Prometheus. In summary, proactively monitoring API performance helps detect bottlenecks, optimize response times, and ensure seamless user experiences. What are API contracts, and why are they important? An API contract is a formal agreement that defines how an API should behave, including its endpoints request slash response formats, authentication, and error handling. It ensures that both the API provider and consumer have a clear, consistent, and reliable way to interact with the API. API contracts are important because of following. Standardization and consistency, defines input parameters, response formats, and status codes, ensuring consistency across API versions. Example, a get slash user slash id endpoint always returns user details in a defined JSON format. Improves collaboration, helps developers, testers, and third-party integrators understand the API without needing direct communication. Tools like Swagger, OpenAPI, Postman, and Raml help document API contracts. Reduces errors and enhances debugging. Clearly defined request slash response structures prevent misinterpretations and integration failures. Maintains compatibility when introducing new features without breaking existing integrations. Automated testing and mocking enables tools to automatically validate requests and generate mock APIs for testing. In summary, API contracts ensure clarity, stability, and reliability, making APIs easier to develop, test and integrate across different teams and services. What are the best practices for designing a scalable API? A scalable API can handle increasing traffic, large datasets, and growing user demands without performance degradation. Below are key best practices. Use RESTful or GraphQL design principles, follow RESTful architecture or use GraphQL for flexible data fetching. Keep endpoints resource-oriented, slash users slash orders implement efficient data pagination use cursor based or offset based pagination to handle large data sets efficiently example get slash users limit equals 10 and cursor equals abc 123 enable caching use redis meme cached or http cache headers to reduce database load use api gateway for load balancing api gateways for example kong jinx AWS API Gateway, Manage Request Routing and Security. Implement Rate Limiting and Throttling, Prevent API Abuse Using Rate Limiting, 429 Too Many Requests. 
optimize database queries, use indexed queries and connection pooling to speed up responses. Secure the API, implement OAuth, JWT, and API keys for authentication. Protect against SQL injection, XSS, and CSRF attacks. In summary, a scalable API is efficient, secure, and adaptable, ensuring smooth performance as user demand grows. How do you ensure backward compatibility when updating an API? Backward compatibility ensures that existing API clients continue to function without breaking changes when an API is updated. Maintaining compatibility is crucial for seamless integration and user experience. Best practices to maintain backward compatibility are as follow. Use API versioning, implement URL-based, slash v1 slash users, query parameter, slash users, version equals 1, or header-based, accept version, v1, versioning, allows old versions to remain functional while introducing new changes. Avoid breaking changes, do not remove or rename existing endpoints, fields, or parameters. Instead, deprecate features gradually and provide warnings. Introduce additive changes, new fields should be optional and not affect existing clients. Example, adding middle underscore name to a user API response should not break existing integrations. Use feature flags and graceful deprecation. Allow clients to opt into new features while maintaining old behavior for others. Provide clear documentation and migration guides. Update API documentation and notify users about upcoming changes. In summary, backward compatibility prevents service disruptions, maintains trust, and allows smooth API evolution, ensuring existing integrations remain functional while supporting new capabilities. How do you handle concurrent updates in an API? Concurrent updates occur when multiple clients attempt to modify the same resource simultaneously, leading to data conflicts. To ensure data consistency, APIs must implement strategies to handle these conflicts effectively. Optimistic locking, ETag, versioning, each resource has a version number or ETag, entity tag, that changes with every update. Clients include the etag slash version in their update request. If the stored version has changed, the update is rejected with 409 conflict. For example, get slash user slash 1, etag, 12345, or put slash user slash 1, if match, 12345, name, John updated. Pessimistic locking, the resource is locked while a client updates it preventing other modifications. Common in database transactions but can cause delays and deadlocks. Last right wins, LWW, the latest update overrides previous changes. Simple but may cause data loss. Merge strategies, conflicts are detected and resolved manually or automatically. Example, combining changes from different sources. In summary, optimistic locking is preferred for APIs as it prevents conflicts without blocking requests. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you liked the video and haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. In comments you can share the topic of your interest, our team will prepare the video for you.